I have had some deeply rooted attachment to the sea from the time I was a boy. And what it did for me personally was open up. It, um, it defied age. It, 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 broke the, it broke the separation between past, present, and future. And it actually puts me in almost an eternal time frame. And the emotions that are welled up and built by watching the re repetition of the sea over and over and what it means. It's life on the edge. It's this place right, but it always amazes me that you could step off a dock onto a boat and you are suspended in an abstraction and you can go anywhere. And it's this rhythm, it's this endless rhythm. Um, I actually wrote it in a song, a harmony set across time between the, the shore and the sea. How human beings respond to it, what it means symbolically, what it means emotionally, but for me personally, the, the depth of emotional response to that, particularly with brooding weather, this impending sense of change um, that is universal and eternal. And only the sea and the sky and the shore, that area can generate this, this body of emotions, these feelings. Millions of people are attracted to it. And some know it, some don't, but we all know how many seashore resorts there are and it's not all about having umbrella drinks and laying on, a, laying on a towel. There's something endlessly compelling about that. I think as painters we have, I'll use the word landscape now instead of seascape, we're, we're inspired by the external landscape, but we really show what our work means through our internal landscape, that filter that it goes through. And if I can marry those, my having spent an enormous amount of time on and by the sea, and have it go through my filter and represent it um, onto canvases so that a hundred years from now, great-grandkids could say, yeah, my great-grandpa, boy, he, he really knew the sea and he's been able to show it to those of us um, who are here now. That would do it. That would be enough.